Well, what's up, guys? And in this video, yes, you saw a title in the thumbnail, right? We are playing Transit. I just wanted to say. What's up guys, and in this video, yes, you saw the title and the thumbnail, right? We are getting the MTZ762, the green camera, and we'll be using a blueprint today, uh, like all the other freaking videos, because, yet again, I cannot be stopped making a goddamn class. With the intro out of the way, let's just go straight into today's video. Uh... As the count is counting down, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. No, you guys made that possible. We have something to talk about. So, today's video was supposed to be a transit video. From Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Because I woke up and I was like, I want to play transit. Yeah, I had a couple of, um, incidents. I died on round one and died on round four. Eight. Back to back, it was not fun. Really got pissed off. <laughs> That's why we're playing this game instead. I'm actually somewhat decent at this game. I don't know how I've gotten worse at Call of Duty Black Ops 2, but apparently I freaking have. Uh, but let's do an Outlast contract whilst um, we're talking about random stuff. You know, I was going through Instagram and I saw some of the prestige camos that they're bringing out um, in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And I'm happy that they're bringing back diamond. Yes, they're bringing back the diamond prestige camo. They're bringing back gold. It looks fucking awesome. I like diamond and gold. They both look really good. They're also bringing out a really cool camo, which looks... I forgot the name of it, but it looks really goddamn cool. It's like a black and gold scaly skin with like a purple animation. Looks all right. And then you got the re... The Return of Dark Matter. And uh, the reason why I'm sitting here is because the zombies cannot hit me. That's great. Yes, I found this glitch by accident, and I do apologize by using it, but I just can't be See, look at this. Look how cool that is. So if you guys ever got, guys wanted to one, wonder on if I knew glitches and called you my FF free, I do, okay? All right, now that's done. Let's grab our reward. Store that, store that. Anyways, I really hope that the... There's separate camos for zombies and multipliers, so I have a lot of camo grinding ahead and a lot of uh, videos that I can make. <laughs> so realistically, more ca the more camos, the better. You guys get more, more content. Now, we'll be separating the content. I, I've been thinking about it, and I have decided to separate the videos. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing zombies, then multiplayer zombies, and then multiplayer. It's going to be back and forth. We might, I might do what I'm feeling, and I post the videos that I want to post, basically, instead of like, just sticking to schedule. Um, even though I want to post every day, I haven't been. I literally didn't post for two days, which is just so goddamn annoying. You have no idea, guys. Let's go ready weapon stash, shall we? I only know one glitch, which is the glitch that I showed you guys. Um, I wish I knew more so I can show you guys more glitches because this game's at the end of its, um, life because Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is coming out and not many people will be playing this game because not many people like this game to begin with. I mean, the camo grind was pretty easy and was simple and was, like, just pleasurable. I hope Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is roughly, has the same camo system. I hope I don't have to get ridiculous amounts of camos ev for every single gun and they're the same camos. That's the one th good thing about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is that every single base camo was different for each gun. And you can use those base camos on other guns as well, which was really good. I feel like that's the one good thing that people can s talk about with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. If you guys didn't know, I'm from Australia, so it's winter down here. It's fucking freezing. Man, I, I'm a winter baby, but Jesus. Uh, speed collar's here. Might as well grab some speed collar whilst we're over here. Oh yeah, and um, a huge fucking celebration. The giant video has reached 2,000 fucking views. I know I shouldn't be swearing, but what the fuck? 
I didn't think that video would do so well uh, in three weeks. Uh, thank you everyone so goddamn much from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. I absolutely love you guys. I will be doing um, a giant video very, very soon. Probably even tonight maybe or tomorrow. <laughs> I might have to do two videos today to make up lost time because I didn't post videos for two days straight. Which I'm not happy about. Basically, life has gotten away and I couldn't make any YouTube videos, but I am making YouTube videos again, okay? Now, after we do this contract, you guys know the drill. We're going to be just going straight to the x and... Actually, this is probably going to be the last time I play this game. So, let's make it memorable and kill the me Mega Abomination. Actually, no, nah, fuck it. We're not going to kill it. Screw that meatball. <laughs> we are not touching that thing with a 10 foot pole. That thing could be just forgotten about. If they bring it back and call you Black Ops 6, I just... And guys, good thing about me is that I read every single comment that you post on my videos. And I'll also shout you out in every single video. Or shout you out in a video if you comment on one of my videos. Videos. It's just that the reason why I'm not shouting at anyone is that actually no someone did comment on last video Uh, Spuddy Ubu, huge shout out to that legend. He basically comments on every single video that I do Absolute legend and if you guys want to become a legend as well, make sure to leave a comment. Oh, it's finally done The weapon sashes take so goddamn long to do. There's literally only one axle. That is Actually, there's another X. There's X over here. Let's actually, there's someone over there. So let's go to this one. Now, I haven't seen very much of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 stuff. All I've seen is the camos and a little bit of the uh, multiplayer gameplay. I've not. I've stayed far away of the zombies gameplay. I every single time my friends set, share share those videos, I'm like, piss off. <laughs> I want a genuine first experience. I want to see the map visually for the very first time and not see it on a video. I know all the zombie YouTubers are going to be making videos on that stuff. Day dot. I didn't really want to talk about this again, but we'll talk about it again. Um, so, I wonder where the zombies community is headed. Because, if you guys didn't know, if, if you're living on a Rock... Um, there's an issue with Telexify and some of these other big zombie YouTubers. They're making apologetic videos. They're making videos of, like, this person lad, this person lad. It's basically a to the tell fucking situation. It's really fucking childish. Um, if you guys don't have my opinion on the matter, it's just he said, she said, fucking bullshit. I, I don't usually swear, like, ridiculously amounts in, like, one sentence. But fuck me, I am sick of seeing Telexify and this, this, this whole situation. The whole situation. It's very childish. It, the whole situation should just stay between them and not be like posted online. It is just so goddamn stupid. Now, I know a lot of people probably will hate my opinion. Well, guess what? I don't give a shit. The situation doesn't involve me, and I'm sick of fucking seeing it. I should have just stayed between four bloody walls and stayed be between the two people that were having the issue. But now it's everyone's issue, and everyone has to get involved apparently to get free publicity or whatever the hell it's called. I swear, people only talk about drama because they want views and shit. I mean, what does that make me? I'm literally talking about it. All I'm saying is that it's just childish and. Everyone involved are uh, making these videos of like he lied, she lied, sort of freaking bullshit. Grow the fuck up, honestly. I really don't care. If you hate a person, t say it to their face, not online. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. I swear, sometimes people just don't know the golden rule. Okay, I shouldn't be talking about that situation since it doesn't involve me, but I just wanted to get my opinion across that. I'm sick of seeing it. Anyways, let's kill these elites and all the rest of it. I know a lot of people probably have clicked off the video due to my opinion, but, you know. Honestly, I know I've said this a lot with the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 build-up. I just cannot bloody wait to see a Tim Hansen video on Call of Duty Black Ops 6 after I play it, obviously, because we all know that Tim Hansen is going to be making a zombie 
video. Um, <laughs> and I also want to watch Crazy Rabbit play the game, but I will not be watching, uh, yet again, I will not be watching any zombies content until I do as, like, I see the zombie map, like, play the zombie map for myself. Okay? So, whenever you guys see, um, the zombie video that I do, it will be the genuine first experience. I will not be watching videos or anything like that. I know I talked about this before, but I'll say it again because I'm running out of things to talk about. Place down in the comment section on what you're looking forward to the most in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Are you looking forward to the multiplayer aspect or the zombie aspect? Now for me, I'm looking forward to the zombies because I love zombies so goddamn bloody much. Game mode and and it's just I'm so happy that the fact that they they actually Treyarch actually listened to the fans and actually are bringing back um, round based zombies, which is just bravo to them for actually freaking listening. Now I don't know if it's coming out to like in two days for me because it says a day left, but. I don't know. Well, we'll stay up late tonight to see on how, uh, how many hours. Well, it says it's coming out on 30th of August. Uh, the opening beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So it might be the 31st of August for me. Maybe. It's because Americans live 16 hours behind the Australians, which sucks on multiple levels. I wish everyone's just on the same freaking time zone. You're way easier on me. Uh, to make videos. <laughs> uh, Xbox just sent me a message. What the hell did Xbox send me? I have no idea and don't really care. Well, I should care because there might be something important. <laughs> you have no idea on how, how much I get reported per night for just game raging, okay? The amount of times I've been combat is ridiculous. And if you watch my videos, if you're like a fan of my videos and you see me in game and called you Black Ops 6, don't be afraid to say hello and like, you know, say hi and all the rest of it. I'll, I'll play, I, I want to play with my viewers, okay? Like, play games with them. It'll be awesome to play with my viewers, you know? And hear what they think of my content and feedback and all the rest of it. Just, whatever feedback you guys give me is the best thing you can give me. Like, if you say my content's trash, that's feedback right there. I'm happy about that. Not many, like, content creators will be happy about people saying, like, the dog shit of the game. I'll be happy because you're telling me that I'm doing doing something wrong. And that, that shows that you care. <laughs> I like comments more than subscribers for some reason. My brain always goes like, well, a good community is a talkative community. That's my brain, really. I, I like, as I said, in numerous occasions, in every single video, without fail, I love reading comments. It just makes my day. That's why every single time Spuddy Ubu leaves a paragraph, I'm sitting there for like 10 minutes like, let's go. <laughs> I, I sometimes don't reply, but if I leave a heart on your um, comment, or a like, or both really, I usually do both, I usually like it and heart it. That means I have read your comments and I do apologize if you want to reply. It's just that sometimes I don't know what to write back. All right, this is what the blueprint looks like on this gun. It actually looks really cool. I actually like this blueprint with this camo equipped it. Looking freaking sexy. Anyways, let's have a look at look at the base gun with the camo equipped it. Uh, this is the base gun with the camo equipped it. I, I just love green, okay? I really hope they have really good reactive skins in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and all the rest of it. Now, with the pristine skins I've seen, they look pretty good. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And as always, I will see you all in the next one.